Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have got more LA Noir for you today. We're finally at the vice desk and we are solving vice crimes as it should be. And of course, Rockstar Launcher is updating. So we heard a lot of words yesterday in uh, yesterday's stream that were definitely not okay for this time period uh, in 2021. By the way, when I say last year, I'm talking about 2019. I miss being able to go outside and do stuff. Give me a sec while Rockstar updates. We will cheer, chill here, listen to these nice hi-fi beats, and just, oh my god. God, way to go, Rockstar. Be a boner killer. Yes, Rockstar, do everything you need to do, please. The 
so one of my coworkers, um, one of my coworkers at Amazon met a small child, and the small child was bald. And my coworker told me he looked like Caillou, and then found out that this poor kid had cancer. By the kid telling him, my mom says I'm not gonna grow up. And then he ran off and played with his uh, with his brother. I don't know if it was like an older or younger brother, but god damn. The balls on that kid. It's like, I'm not going to grow up. Bye. Have a nice day. All right. Looks like we got Rockstar updated. Looks like we are moving. Let's see what we got. It pops up on the screen. Yeah. Fuck yeah. But I could not believe that. The kid was like, I'm going to mess with your whole day. You're going to think about me for a while. Bye. Could not fucking believe that. I haven't had anything like that happen to me. I've had a lot of old ladies come up naked and like just fling the door open butt naked. I've had a lot of old men, like just people you don't want to see naked fling the door open. Holy crap. Also, I think that's kind of a shit design choice right there, having their shadow go over the menu. I, I don't think that was very well thought out with him fucking just moonwalking over the menu. Anyway, let's resume. To turn this down. God damn, it's loud on my end. Oh, also, I broke half of one of my teeth and then swallowed it on accident. I didn't like break it and then be like, oh, I wonder what that tastes like. Now just reaffirm madness. Oh my god, guys. These people are smoking that jazz cabbage and killing everybody. You know we need to Freddy stop Calhoun? this. Sure, I know. Freddie Freddy needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. A <laughs> reefer? Says he Has can. he said how much it's going to cost? 50 bucks. And the department will front me the 50? You can 50 put bucks, in an damn. Expense claim. He's over You're the stingy bastard oh, busting a reefer ring and he won't out. even spend 50 bucks on it? I was door knocking all morning, but I got a all right. in the end. Let's go. We, uh, I'm going to get lost this in the police station bad. again. Oh, wait, wait, here we go. All right, downstairs. No, you just look like you're made of money. Oh, very good. The kid's on form. I uh, over here? Dude, where is our car? You smoked way too much of that reefer. You never listen to yourself. There we go. I don't have the same voices in my head as you do, Cole. Dude, what the fuck is that? Am I just I'm like... Oh. All right. Oh, good, good. We're probably going to get another copyright strike. Middle of the afternoon. Well, not strike, this but crazy claim. woman decides to set fire. Well, everybody out of the way, I'm a cop. Lizard. The fire brigade come and put it out. A couple hours later, she does See, it that's again. That's a classic cop Phones move. You pull into the uh, and says, oh, I've set fire whoa, 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 to my hotel whoa. twice today. Wait you better minute. come and get me. <laughs> easy, easy. Yeah. Did they send some uniforms around to get her? That's how I drive no, with my girlfriend the in the part. car. She could probably confirm sergeant, that. He gets his share of crank calls. Says, Ooh. all right, Lady Nero, why don't you come on down here? An hour later, she shows. All right. Still oh. oh, we almost got it. Lumens, Lumens, Lumans, Lumans. All right. You in charge here? There's no. That's him in the back, Cole. I feel like this is a uh, a vice case. Ooh, two club sandwiches. I just don't know. Freddy, you're looking Freddy. good. You're Freddy Fazbear. Right. That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The twenty? Sure, right here. Twenty? I said. You want the money or the alternative? <laughs> Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Another good Samaritan. Here's the twenty. The I said fifty. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? Get stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. 50 Names, pounds? Freddy. That's it. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia. Dude, Thomas. dude, come on. You cannot call other people with those words. That is not okay. Do I get my money? Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Damn. Let's go visit this cruise character. Fifty pounds of dope. <laughs> Fifty pounds of reefer 
madness. Has anybody seen like the, the reefer madness stuff? Just like the, whoa, I'm so high. Nothing can hurt me. And then the kid like Believe shoots himself. Like, sure. like this. Uh, I've had like Freddy would raffle his Oop. sister for his next score. Oop. Yeah, we're still good. The nice car. We're, we're fine. Any available unit, the 44 suspect to be taken into custody at Sunset and Ivar. Unit we're on it. Code 2 identified. We get the suspect. Remember all of your police training. I forgot how to drive. Like, pretty much all of it. But we got this. We can do this. Oh, shit. That's the turn. Yeah! You like that spin? It'll be how Amazon drivers go. Alright. All right, here we go. Against the odds. Detective Phelps. Look, Phelps, in a minute, a bag man named Rampley's gonna walk in here and put a mint on- A bag man, you say? We don't care about Rampley so much as- Is he a man made of bags? Or does he just have a bag? These are the questions you need to be asking as a police officer. Here's what you're gonna do. Get in there. Blend in, wait for our mark. He'll be in a dark coat. Wait until he hands over the cash, then tail him. Good luck. A dark coat. All right. I am so going to blow this. I'll wait outside. Keep an eye on the place. Isn't that the cop who solved the big case and got promoted? No, no, I'm not a, I'm not a cop. I'm not a cop. Here's what I heard. I'm just that an everyday man. did the Dahlia. Reading the newspaper. Some kind of big conspiracy. He's wearing a dark coat. Give me a grand on Cavalcade the fifth. Ooh. What if he cuts like eyes through the through the newspaper? See, like, ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. All right, I, I didn't think he could see me, I couldn't see him. You just went outside. Stop. Any available unit, the 44 suspect. All right, let's try it again. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll try again. All right. I'll wait outside. Keep an eye on the place. That's the one. About a week ago, this guy murdered his wife and dumped the body. But that's the cop who put him away. No, no, I'm not a cop. I'm not a cop again. What if this... What if they just... What if there's a mod to turn this into, like, a whole Scooby-Doo type thing? Shit. Where, like, you just make everything take place in the 70s now. And, like, you got a dog named Scooby. Or, like, Meaty Meaty Moo. Do you guys get the reference? You're fucking geniuses. Alright, we're gonna tail this guy. Look at him walking. Walking like he rents the place. I don't give a shit where you're going, school bus. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Just, just gently. Gently. Oh, oh, oh. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. The dumpster. Can't see you there. Hey, come on. This ain't New York. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, oh, he saw my ass. Am I stupid? I don't think I am. I like to think I'm not. Alright, we'll try it again. 
wonder what Caillou is doing right now. I hope he's alright. Any available unit to 44 suspect to be taken into custody at Sunset and Ibar. Alright, this is the last time that we're gonna get on with the uh the vice. All right. I'll wait outside. Keep an eye on the Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep an eye on the joint. I'm definitely not the cop. So weird, that lamp felt so out of place on the table. Did anybody else notice that? That lamp right there. Feels really weird. Yeah, the Hotel Barclay. Nice. All right, we got this. Just right. Here. Nope, nope, no one here. Nobody here. Just not me, Detective Cole Phelps. Hey to go incognito. Oh, like he just kind of like half-ass disguises hey, himself. Or... This ain't New York. Yeah, buddy, it's saying New York. All right, he don't see me. He don't see me. We're good. We're good. Okay. All right, let's see where this where this guy goes. This this schmuck, Jamo. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they call, like, like old tiny gangsters back in the day. Got it, boss. A full G. She's coming in at twenty to one. You and I are about to retire. A full G. LAPD, you're both you're gonna retire arrest. on a full G. Oh, fuck! Behind the dumpster. In the legs. Suspect is alive and unable to walk. I obliterated his legs into a fine paste. Car 11K calling KGPL. Ambulance required at Sunset and Ivar. Shots fired and suspects are down. We're code four, but I'll need an ambulance in a corner. Roger that, 11K. All units, be advised. The 484 assumes that yeah. the 44 suspects are down. Alright. Let's go. Five hidden vehicles? What the fuck does that even mean? You know, I don't think I ever actually looked at the hidden vehicles in this game when I played. Oh, uh, fill, fill her up. Um, oh. Oh, okay. That was already like that, right? Nobody, nobody needs to know. We're, we're good, we're good. I don't know if you guys are experiencing it, but it is blurry as shit when I look at this. All right, let's... Oh! <laughs> ah! Oh, these? You can just cut over them. Nobody can stop you. You cut through there. Look at all that. Fucking genius. I don't know why anybody, why, why nobody doesn't drive like this, like, constantly. Look, this whole side of the road, open. Except for that one thing. Alright. Well, I'm being the shit out of the side. <laughs> just, just like, skidding around and stuff. Oh, fuck. It's like, well, I wasn't going in there, but now I am. as I think I am. Ah! 
they smoked the reefer and then they just shot me down. It's the madness. All right. Let's, uh... Yep, okay. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. What do I do with this? No, no, we're not gonna skip the action sequence. It's it's important. Shots fired and officers need help at 14. Where the hell did that come from? It was the reefer. They were well, smoking it. To move on. Next time I won't be so nice. <laughs> Get the fuck out of the crime scene. All right, we're going to have to. We're going to have to look around here. You guys don't have to leave on this. Ooh. Dude, this guy Don't is handsome. Can I take this one home? You open fire and Can I keep this guy? The rest of the story tells itself. Hmm. Nothing on the hand. Let's try the other hand. Maybe there's a, a tattoo identifying him. Nope. What about... Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, it's just this pocket. That way you're going for that Johnson. Hmm. Silver dollar. Oh, they took these things out of circulation. They did, Cole. God. Check this other pocket. What do we have here? Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front. All right. Well, first of all, this is a nice tie. Can, can I have his tie? Oh, you you need to give it to him, or you need he he has to keep it. Uh, all right. No tie for me. That's fine. That we had that. I think we're good there. There's like tons and tons of tomato soup. Like a lot of tomato soup. Is this a drug or a village in Borneo? Doesn't appear to be in Spanish. Hmm. It certainly is a piece of paper. Uh -uh. Optimistic call. Beer bottles. All right. Uh, we got a chair. No, that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted. Oh. Ah. Never the same, are they? Let's look at this gun here. No, N nothing, nothing there. Okay. Well, yep, it certainly is a gun. What do you think, Corner? What did I have? It's like, well, you shot him in the face like six times, man. Doesn't anyone eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. Hmm. All right, what what else do we have here? Oh, you know, we can make a phone call. Dominoes? Operator, give me dispatch. Hey, do you get, what kind of pizza do you guys want? Putting you through now. Well, I need to know, do you want pineapple on your pizza? Belt, like, what are we one, doing two, here? Four, seven. Are you getting Hawaiian? Which I don't I think is you? a thing. Yep. I need an address on a Parnell Soup Company. Because, like, I, I don't think the, that Hawaii was... Angeles hang on. Area. Alexa, when was Hawaii made part of the United States? Only one address listed. 6310 Fountain Avenue. Thank you. Hawaii was the last state to come to the United States. Coming to see you, August 25th, 1850. Okay, yeah, so it's possible that, like, we don't even put pineapple on pizza yet in the United States in this timeline. Because, because Hawaii is not a state until the 50s. Hey, a book. Hmm. Probably nothing. An English to Spanish dictionary. Oh, I thought I could get the newspaper. Okay. Well, let's see what else we have here. We, we didn't even really search the rest of the house. And fuckers got like tons of tomato soup. Ah, interesting. God damn, look at that hand cannon. That's bigger than me. 
All right, hand cannon. We're done with that. Nothing there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Incidental. Pencils. It's all coming together. Get the fuck out of the way. 1899. That's not that long ago. It really weirds me out to think about, like... It's like, oh, it's like the, the 30s or the 40s or whatever. But, like, there was somebody who was alive 50 years at, before that. Hey, these are the guys keeping warm so well stocked with soup. More soup. Dude, this is a lot of fucking tomato soup. Beer bottle there. Is there like a yeah, doorway here? Are they? Oh. Hmm. All right. So, fuck. Oh. You already called the. Please. Let's look at our clues and everything and see what we have here. Uh, locations, Juan Garcia, Cruz's residence, Cornell Soup Company, and 20th Century Market. Oh, we, we gotta get out of here. Oh. When you look at the deceased. You'll want to come meet Mr. Fickman, the neighbor. Sounds like he's got something for you. All right, let's, uh, but let's talk to the neighbor. Detectives Phelps and Durrell, we were told Always you. Always knew they were up to no good. Damn. The son of a bitch spent more time in the chicken coop than in his house. <laughs> Thank you, sir. How does that mean? Very helpful. And next time you witness suspect behavior through the crack in your curtains, please call us before something like this happens. That was it? You can tell me what's going I wonder if there's a chicken coop. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Oh, it's an actual chicken coop. Boom! Freeze, chickens! Oh, there ain't shit in here. Hmm. Look at this can. I doubt it. Hmm. Just uh miscellaneous nuts and bolts that every fucking dad seems to have. What's this? I don't think so. And, you know, there's no chickens in here. Whoa! Now we're getting somewhere. Hang on, wait. Is there anything here? Hmm. Nope, more nuts and bolts. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, that's it's probably nothing. Aha! Uh -huh. Who in the hell keeps a secret stash of soup? Cornell Soup Company delivery ledger. With Juan dead, we need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? Uh, 50 pounds. This guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. The dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. All right, I guess we're done with that. All right, I, I guess there's not fucking much else here. I mean, again, it, it, it's soup. We have nothing illegal here. Unless... 
Uh, marijuana. I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. <laughs> Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. Hmm. I better keep like five or six of these cans just for my, uh, just for my like personal investigation into this. More reaver. Hey, hey, we get like, like 12 of these into your car at least. All right, fine, 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 fine. I'm, I'm a cop, it's illegal. Marijuana's is bad. Even though there's that one guy on YouTube where pretty much all his contact is he just like reviews weed now. That's crazy as fuck to me. Somebody get this plant in a pot, stat. Okay, I think we've, I think we've exhausted everything that we can here. Let, let's go to the soup company. Or you know what? Let's look at that ledger again. No, no, no. Let's go to the soup company. We got this. We're two independent, strong, sensual cops. We don't need no men. We're good. Brother says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. Whoa, watch out, guys. Come back from Cohen as yet. Maybe Confidential Magazine is right. This is, this is the correct the way to drive. Yeah. We did stuff. We even out of traffic. Look, nobody ever uses this you. lane. That is one Fuck yeah. son of a bitch. Oh my god, can I just chill in this lane? Any of the vicinity officer needs assistance in 18. Oh. Oh my god, that car started on fire. Dude, drive, drive, drive. That, that call's probably about us. Alright, we're good, we're good. Get the fuck out of the way. Oh, hey, look, the car's magically okay again. Even though I had a straight on, head on collision. Right. Let's see if we can find out who's been over seasoning the soup. I thought that was crazy last night where the guys just, uh, where my partner's just like, never seen a janitor carry a gat, and then all of a sudden, like, bullets start flying. Oh. Mr. Parnell. Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please take a seat. If you don't mind, we'll come with you. If you must. All right, everybody, be respectful. Sly dog. I like the way he I runs upstairs. He... For my partner's roving eye. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. God, what a pig. If you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell. Oh, look at all these soups. They're from the LAPD. Follow me, gentlemen. That's right. Is there just like a secretary for, for the secretary? Are we going to do anything? Okay. There we go. What is going on? LAPD. Sit tight, fatso. Whoa. You could be in very serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. Maybe you can explain why we found five dollar bags God of damn. marijuana. Damn. Just walk in, and call the guy yeah. fat. That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, Chubby? We found at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on them. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Come on, he is not Doris, that bad, guys. It is not okay. Employee listing. Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please. It's weird to see, like, cigars and stuff just being smoked inside. Any name on that list that rings a bell? Mm. Let's see, what do we got? Is 
Is there like another page? Uh, we need crews. Okay, back over here, I think. Uh, Romero, Marco, Carlos Chavez. We need George. George Garcia Cruz. Cruz. Uh, nope. Okay, back over here. Ah, George Garcia Cruz. This is familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas. A Jorge Garcia Cruz. Oh, sorry, Jorge. How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. Mm, I'm gonna doubt him. Mr. Parnell, do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Come clean with us. Okay, so things are a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contracts. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. Damn. The There's a lot of disappointed soldiers. That's a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna doubt that too. Tell me what I want to know, Parnell, or I will have half the LAPD down here tearing this place apart. You're hiding something. Am I right in thinking you would not? Other than having a cute, cute your drug smile. Case? Depending on what you call a misdemeanor, we might be prepared to turn a blind eye. The truth is, I employ a lot of illegals. Oof. No one wants to do menial work anymore. Most of my factory staff are women. No, they do not. The local blacks God in damn. all want jobs in aircraft factories. Presumably because the pay is a lot better. Somebody got can somebody about to cancel this game. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I I'm not familiar with them all. Hmm. Doubt. That's funny, Parnell. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. You better give me something. <laughs> Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm getting enough grief from Washington. There's an investigation going on into profiteering. Like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on. I'm sure thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did okay. <laughs> oh my god. Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on Dude, the conveyor on. belts and cookers. I'm gonna believe that. So he's here now? No, maintenance is at night. Uh, night shift finishes around midnight. He would usually come in around 9 p.m. and have everything ready for the morning shift at 6. God, this is feeling like one of them, uh, you know. We'd like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. I'll show you around myself. I thought the next one wasn't Reefer Madness, but the setup. I hate seeing how things are made. I wonder if they go like a little out of order like or something. I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. I mean, who cares? It's fucking soup. Ah. All right, everybody. I know you're in a dark and cramped fucking nasty area in the soup plant, but you're going to have to deal with it. It's really weird to see soup, like, like think of soup, you know, you make it on a pot in the kitchen this is where the produce versus comes like in. this. We peel and sort all of the vegetables and add them to the line in regular quantities. Mm. Fascinating. You will. You know, honestly, that's got to be some of the best textured fruit that I've seen. Oh, good God. This really is turning into some nightmare school trip flashback.
What if he like falls in and he gets stuck in the conveyor? He's just like covered in vegetables this for the, the rest of the day. Which boils and purees the vegetables. The other hopper is for the pasta. This way, please. You're loving this, aren't you, Phelps? The soup is ladled automatically in the can. So this wait a minute. Is labeling. I'd like to see the packing and dispatch area, if you don't mind. Sure. It's over here. Follow me. So wait a minute. You say you're saying all you make is minestrone soup? Gross. This is one of our dispatchers. Sergio, right? Yes, sir. These men are from the LAPD. Mm -hmm. Sergio here records our outgoing deliveries. They all go in the book. I wonder if he's like desk. talking. I wonder if he's being loud. Because he's like, uh, like you think Sergio doesn't understand him? Oh. Let's try this can out. Well, that's soup. What were you expecting? I'll have to come back at night to find out. I was expecting marijuanas. Let's open this can of soup too. I'm really hungry. He just starts eating the the more or the uh, like the room temp soup. He's like, ah, yes. Can I have a look at that coin? Sure. Why not? Silver dollar, right? Yeah, that's right. The markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Hmm. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. I like it. it brings me luck. Ah, interesting. Do you it's, have access to the can? Yeah, this fucking. Bram, 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 bram. I hate that. But I keep to my station. Loading and unloading. Don't care much for soup. Hmm. I'm gonna doubt him. Sergio, if you don't give me something, I'm gonna go to immigration services and have you deported. God damn, get dude. A once every two weeks. Ernesto does the driving. I don't know his full name. Delivered here at night. Or get if anything, handle. you should learn is to just say nothing yeah, and exercise the shit country. out of your Fifth Amendment. All right. Well, what? what? Hmm. We're looking for repeat business in large amounts, Cole. Hmm. Wow. 20th What's century going market. On, There's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? We're a family company using family recipes. We don't know anything about dope rings. I need you to stop this from ruining the company's reputation. I'm going to drag you so far down under. Not a loss. Talk to the dispatcher. Even if Parnell is the fall guy, it's these guys who handle the goods. All right, what do you let's know ask about the 20th century market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. I wonder if this is a white dude playing it or a, a Mexican no, dude. Not me. Mm. You're a liar, Sergio. You're in it, and I'm gonna break you. I'm gonna for say it. the silver dollar. You're loco, Placa. I got nothing to do with Juan Garcia. Yep. We found a matching silver dollar on Juan Garcia. What are the odds of that, Sergio? One and Jorge are brothers. They're cousins. They work for some evil gabacho. The guy is an aberration. Hmm. He gives out the silver dollars. Or he gets me a list of deliveries every morning. 20th century is always on. 
You keep your mouth shut for today, and I don't take you in. Do we have a deal? Do I have a choice? Damn. Is that a serious question? That's it for now, Sergio. If it's we like, need to speak no. to you again, we'll put in a call to Mr. <laughs> Parnell. If you have to. Oh, my God. I guess. We will be in touch, Mr. Parnell. It is imperative that things appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Dude, Thanks. this is like do that. pretty fucking creative. You're going like... to overlook my little immigration problem, aren't you? Cheer up, fatso. We're gonna let you go on squeezing these poor saps a little while longer. Well, until some commie union types infiltrate this place. Damn. Yeah, fuck unions, right? God damn, I, I want a fair wage for working a 16 hour day. Vegetables could smell so bad. Like, holy hell. Oh, they, they open like this. You did it wrong. All right, let's get in the car. And we'll go to the market, I suppose. I don't even know my partner's name. Whoa, what the fuck is this? How many years have you been in Vice, Roy? Roy, that's his name. More years than I want to own up to, Phelps. <laughs> you have any idea who Rojas was talking about? I think the tree is the way they just materialize it. the operation? Could be anybody. You don't All expect right. those morons so, uh, to be running the show, do you? A 211. I think that's a robbery of some sort. Christ alive, this is a nightmare. Oh, oh, okay. You, you don't know how to drive, clearly. Yeah, now my headlights smashed out. You're no fault of my own. This looks familiar. Open your eyes! Hey, yeah, uh, Roy. Wouldn't it be funny if we just, like, kissed? Right? It'd be funny, right? We should just do it right in front of the chief. He would think it's hilarious. Just, just kiss, like a little peck. Just be like, right on the cheek. Like, I really think it's funny. Like, I really think it's funny because of the absurdity of that. Just like in the, the 40s, Cole just being like, hey, what if we kissed? Just like, like as a joke. Ugh. This music is, uh, any way to, oh, there's no way to change it, I don't think. Turn left no. when you can. All right, we got this. Just swerve around these, like, these Volkswagen Beetle looking motherfuckers. Just shoot that gap right there, boom. No. Oh, oh, oh. I hope you got some money saved up. <laughs> none. Of none. And hey, working at Amazon kind of does that to you. you. You don't have money available to you when you need it. I don't know. It's, it's a thing. I could turn the siren on, but I, I certainly don't want to hear it go wee 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 like all Are the way there. Are you crazy? No, I'm just not that great of a driver. In, in all honesty, you you should have driven, but like it's uh it's like up to interpretation, I guess. I don't know. Let's go around these guys. Yeah, we're good. Holy hell! It, it is so fun. Where is this fucking two eleven at? Oh my god, we are all the way over there. No. Okay, fine. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Just wish I knew how close it was. It's like this is not, this is not doing it for me. Driving these cars feels like extremely heavy. Like driving feels like there's another car strapped on top of your car, but like running and walking, it feels like. You're, uh, you're driving a car. I don't know. I wonder if, uh, any of these artists who made these songs in the 40s 
knew how many times my videos would have a copyright claim on them just by playing this game. And also, like, do you think they ever would have thought about detectives and things like that? Or like an adventure where you could be a detective? I want to see what, like, video games would be like if people in the 40s and 50s were able to program. That's what I think would be really, really interesting because we would definitely see a completely different type of media. I feel like we would have a lot of cops and robbers shows. I feel like The Shadow. Um, is it The Shadow? Yeah, yeah. I feel like The Shadow would have its own like series and everything like that, its own game series. That would be neat. What the fuck is this thing? Okay, I can just go straight down here and then when I hit Union Avenue, I turn right. Er I've been thinking about doing like a little bit of a radio show or something, just like a throwback to all these. What are you doing? Do whatever I want, man. That's, that's cool. Beans. Like, I don't know, but it's, uh, it's really interesting to think about because there's a lot of genres that, like, maybe kids, like, won't or don't have anymore. Oh, my God. Sir. God damn Sir. maniac! Sir. Among them, they have pooled one million dollars for the purchase of some rather exclusive commodities. There are your doors in the street. Life in the Western Hemisphere has been congenial. It is certain that their toil has been rewarded. Okay. All right. <laughs> Can we just out of the car, police? Oh my God! Can't do this? <laughs> oh my God! Capitol Records presents Marcia Tilton with her lovely tune, That's My Desire. All right. I'm going to leave your uh, car right there. It'll be fine. We'll go and get it. I cannot believe that you... Well, I mean, it's a rock star game. Come on. Can you imagine... Can you imagine that, though? You just get out, and all of a sudden... Just all of a fucking sudden... Somebody steals like your car, but it's like a cop, and they're like, "LAPD, get out of the car. We need to borrow this." I don't think they're allowed to do that. Like we see those in cop movies, like those things in cop movies and stuff. But I don't think that shit would fly if the police were just like, "Hey, I need to borrow your car for a high-speed chase. You're insured, right?" I'm just saying. Oh damn. It's right in the Stop. dude, what are you doing? There's no Watch fucking out. plan. Like hell? Put your hands in the air. Can I do that thing where I point the gun at his back? I think I can. Ah oh, fuck. Oh, this does not help that I have an itch on my back right now. Hang on. Oof. Oh my god. Some of my hair is just gently rubbing my neck. I don't like it. Go, go, go! I'm gonna chase you! Stop or I will shoot! Okay, we got this, we got this, we got it. Oh, fuck! Go, Phelps, go! Why was he even robbing the thing? Like, these are the things I need to know. Oh, damn. The good Samaritan just clocked him. Hey, your car's fixed. Nice. Car 11K to KGPL. 211 from intersection of 3rd and Union is code 4. All units be advised the 211 at Westlake Pass Control intersection of 3rd and Union is a code 4. All right. You, you drive to this one. I'm... Can you drive to this one? There we go. Nice and easy. I'm sure, like, immediately I've got a copyright uh, claim that I'm going to have to dispute. Because despite all these musics and stuff being, like, 75 years or old or older... 
Like, damn. They still be protecting those copyrights hard. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Carl Levin King to oh, dude, if I could buy weed in a can from a grocery store, fuck yeah. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 15 B stands for North Highland. Numerous bitch wagon. Suspects. Code two only, no sirens. So we put the suspects in. Bitch wagons. Call okay. them bitches. Cavalry should be here any minute. Dude, I hate Roy so much. He has got a punch. But what the fuck? LAPD, nobody move. Stop, troll, freeze. I'll take my chances. Go, go, go! Nope, can't do the thing. You gotta tackle him. Go, 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 go! Yeah! Uh. You got my suit dirty. And he just like smacks the shit out of him. Whatever you're carrying, hand it over. Ooh. I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. Mm. Wow, Cole. Wow. You can't take me in. Take Dude, you just in. eat it. Be glad he didn't shoot you. You should have just ate it. You. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you, but I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. Dude. Didn't we just take everything he had in his like pockets and stuff? I need red uh, uh. silver dollars. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Yeah. Sanchez Erto, Mexican, Tijuana address. And some money. I'll just be taking that for me. And the gay stri uh, the strip club. Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. Ooh. All give right. Me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run the shop. That's all I do. You're lying Tell me the to me. the truth. You are in this with the others. I told you I know them. I told you my family's at risk. What makes me part of their gang? The silver dollar. You have a silver dollar, Erto, just like Juan. I'm sure Ernesto and the rest have them as well. The silver dollars are his mark. Whose? Give me a name. None of us are allowed to see him. His creatures carry his orders to us. If I gave you his name, I would be buried alongside my wife and children. If you don't give us something, you Damn. will run in jail while your family starves on the street. At Ernesto Juarez, tonight at 1 a.m. He's bringing the truck into the soup factory. Please help me, sir. Ernesto can be very cruel. All right, Tell let's talk about, about the soup, soup shipments, buddy. It's very popular, as you can see. The real funny wise guy. You want to try saying that again with no teeth? I get a delivery at 7 30. Damn. From the factory. Jorge organizes everything. That, that is some. All right, let's see what we he has to say about Jorge this. Juan. Juan is dead. Tell us how you know the crew's boys. Ernesto put together this thing. He brought in Juan. Juan brought in Jorge. All right, I, I feel like that's a truth. Continue. I was already here. Ernesto knows I'm illegal, so he threatened to report me if I didn't help. And the money is good. The gringos and the gringas, they love the reefer. And I didn't want to have to leave and start again in San Francisco. You're breaking my heart. You're under arrest, Erto. I'll speak to the DA and see if he will agree to not see the assets or deport you. That's the best I can do. We don't promise anybody shit. The Big Ticket Hotel. Ooh. All right, 
let's raid the soup factory. All right, get out. And let's, uh... All right, move. Move! Let's go! Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah! Everyone into position. Okay, gentlemen, we'll take the lead. You cover us. All right, where, where, where we going? Going up get or your back? Eh? LAPD, put your hands where we can see them. Go, Phelps. Get in oh, there. Fuck. Find some Damn. All this over soup? Okay, like this. This is a really big deal for marijuana, though. I, I gotta say, in this day and age, I'm, I'm just saying, man. Go, go! Not patrol, assemble! Reasonable self defense. All clear? I think that's the last of them, Cole. All right. Team kisses all around. At that bar with the men in the, the napkins. Hell yeah. Detectives. Found something here you probably want to see. Oh, he's one of the dancers at that club I like. One dollar per dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. All right, what, what, what is in his pocket? Hmm. If you want an address, we should see what the Federales have on it. Oh, sir, cafe. That means his eyes. Oh, there you go. We'll put that back so you don't miss your concert. Let's look at his hand. Hmm. Hmm. Cole's just sitting there, like, stroking his hand. He's like, uh, uh, Cole? Cole? All right, let's, uh, anything on his face? No distinct markings. Got a weird-shaped ear, but that's all right, I guess. Who, who did the murder? Was it me? Because I'm a cop, so it's okay if I did it. God damn. I think we found our stash, Cole. Take a look in these boxes. Whoa! That's a lot of... Minimum how do you not walk out. by that and fucking smell it? Detective, how do you not walk by that big, ba or big box big of weed and smell all of that? It certainly does. It was like some super weed. Someone gave him a poison hamburger with lots of ketchup on it. And when he squished the burger to eat it, all the poison ketchup got on his shirt and skin and <laughs> killed him. That's a very good and plausible, very plausible, uh, I don't even know what the hell to call that. It's a very plausible theory. I, I think we've got something here. From a 40s detective standpoint. Oh, God. There, hang on. Let's go over here. 
I, I think we have everything we need, like, out of here. They're going to take pictures and whatever. And I pop the trunk anytime I want? No, I cannot. All right. So let's see what our locations are. We got... Oh, we're at the, uh, the soup factory. Let's talk to our partner, see what he says. What do you think? All clear. Look around. Give the bodies a once over while you're at it. But like all of them? All right. I don't know, man. I killed like at least like 16 people here just for like we. It wasn't weed, it was lettuce for the poison burger. <laughs> That's why he didn't smell it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just lettuce and not a, uh, and not anything else. Definitely not marriage of Juana's. I feel like I might be missing something. Like, maybe I should go back and look at the, uh, the body from the poison hamburger. That somehow also left bullets all the fuck over his chest. Oh, hey, wait, there's a guy up here. Aha! Uh -huh. That's a fat stack of bills, yo. The suspect didn't have any money at all. He just, like, pockets that roll of money. How come the dad? Another silver dollar. How come the guy who died from the hamburger doesn't have a cozy blue blanket like all of the other sleeping people? What was this all about? Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, we ran Speaking out of blankets. Of Where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. The department owes me 50. Ray, I have another two coins for you. Great. I've got something to show you. It's the department owes him 50, so he took a roll. There. Take a the suspenders look at guy killed the burger collecting. guy. I thought the burger killed the burger guy. There are mm. letters cut into each coin, along with not legal tender. Those are Morgan silver dollars from the 20s. They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Look at them together. Can you work out what it says? Engmetkelsmas. The proof that the suspenders guy had all that cheddar, which goes on a burger, <laughs> which is how he killed the burger guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, hang on. What the fuck am I even doing? Um, here, this goes here like this, I think. Get out of my Gatorade! No! Hey! No! Stop that! You didn't do shit. Get out of here. Hey, Moxie, you can't have Gatorade. You're a dog. Hey. Met, uh... Met Ang... Met Metals... Metals! Fuck, I don't know... Oh, wait. Actually. You know, I don't feel like it's an issue if I look at a guide for this. Hang on. Let's look at the fucking guide we have here, just conveniently pulled up on the phone. Okay, here we go. We'll do this. We'll do it this way so you guys don't have to sit here looking at me playing a puzzle, which I'm not good at. The first coin, M -M yeah. The second, A-N-G. The third, K-A-Y. The fourth, M-E-T. The fifth, A-L-S. Mesanke Metals. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Would I ever? 1034 Vine Street, Hollywood. We'll finish up here. Does he know that? It's already just like been a long night, Phelps. Off the top of his head. Talk them into giving themselves up. All right, let's uh, see if we can figure out how to leave here. Yeah. <sighs> Like, oh, why is he running around like that? Oh, he just gets lost inside. Kind of like a moth. Alright. 
KTI Radio. Hey, watch. Bet I can uh, back up all the way. Well, there goes a week's wages. Bet you I could like do a little spin. See what I did there? Yeah. All right, let's go figure this out. Doesn't weigh you down. It's your priority, straight Phelps. We're close to bringing in one of the biggest dope cases of the year, and you're worried about substantial evidence. Dude, that was a fat lot of cash evidence. he stole. I wonder how often things like that in real life happen. Locked. We need another way in. Now let's just hop the fence, man. Oh, gee, look at that. <laughs> look at me. I'm over here. Where are you? Uh, no, you, you can't. I, I did it. Oh, fuck you. You're stupid. You're not my best friend anymore. Leave me alone, Roy. For real, though, Roy's kind of a prick. I, I like the other guy better, Rusty. His back door is just open. Whoa, 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 whoa. You wait there. I'm going to go get a, a big gun out of the trunk. Did I ever unlock another outfit to like... Uh, Sunset, Broderick. Sharpshooter. Do these like actually do anything? I don't, I don't think they do shit. Maybe this one. I don't know. Chicago Lightning. And the Outsider. All right, whatever. The point is, I need a bigger gat. Oh, shit, I can actually do it. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, yeah. All right, now I feel prepared. Ah, oh, so cool. I often forget that you can get a bigger gun out of the trunk. So when I played this, I actually played the whole thing with a pistol. Wait, 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 how, how, how I do it? Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. How do I? Give me some cover. There we go. There we go. Yeah, buddy. My friend. No, he, he's hella dead. All right. You okay? I'll tell There's you what, no it's cool abandoned us. Oh. Throw out the guns. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Get him out. Yo, where, where'd my big gun go? Ah, shit, I'm out of bullets. That can happen. Look at all this reefer. All right, up the stairs we go. Fuck. Weapons on the ground now. Get me. Get me. 
Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, but you go first. No, I go first. Bam! LAPD, hands Patrol. Up. Victor Sanders. You know this guy? I should have known. Of course I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? We have a mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Ooh, evidence buddy. Disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth! Turn around and put your hands behind Boy, your back. Boy, are you buying this dope? Oh my god. Working vice can be a thankless task, Phelps. But on behalf of the brass and the moms and dads and the concerned citizens... I'd like to commend you and your partner for smashing this dope ring. Reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as communism. <laughs> what about Sanders, Lieutenant? Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. The chief will be looking after that one personally. He will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. Don't push your luck. Sanders is no longer your problem. Did anybody else notice that the Thompsons in the scene were replaced with, um, like a longer barreled revolver? $3,000 in vehicle damage. Not a big deal. And 20 damages, $20 worth of damage to the city? That's it? Dude, I drove into that shit hard. Your platoon is what remains of recon. Your platoon you into the is cute. You'll be going up that damned hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all I going into the line. I don't know how to make rifles, aim to break them tonight. sir. I don't know how to build anything. Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. I can only war. imagine what these poor people Not went quite through. What I expected. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Alcacala Bridge. That guy's got no fear. That's Sheldon. He's pretty cute. He didn't but he it. left him there. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder, Corman. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the Damn. stench. Feel the horse breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! God damn. This is some heavy stuff. You just watched him kill a dude. And he did it in front of everybody. The setup. You like the fight game, Phelps? I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. All right, let's see what we got here. You like boxing? I like boxers. Bologna and ham and cheese, ten. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. Like nobody was treating anybody with respect back in the day. 
I just call people these names. Terrible. I find it funny that we're still like this, but instead of boxing, it's like UFC now. Through a chair, of course. I feel like this is illegal. That son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Ava! You get out here right now! Step back, LAPD. What's going on? Move, that gentlemen. We're the Thought Patrol. The door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you're out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. Damn, do not spit on floor. <laughs> he squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. Second from the end, all right. Hmm. Not everything here is going to be relevant. This is one hell of a dildo. Uh, pin board second from the end. Hmm. Oh, there's a dildo just hanging up. Two of them. There's a phone number we can run by R and I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. Aha, uh -huh. tape. You probably had something that needed to not move, but it was moving. Okay, nothing there. All right, I need the telephone. I've been waiting on this you pizza for like a month. Sucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me. Dude, he probably bet on himself and Boy, then. You out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. I know who he is. Damn. Brother. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. Oh. I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. <laughs> the mixture. <laughs> Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Cold R and I, I'd like a large pizza. How could I help, Detective? My mom doesn't love I me, and I feel sad. The following phone number: <laughs> AL three four five. The address for. He's just like calling is... every few days for like relationship advice. There's this girl I really Delmar. like at the malt shop that I see once in a while. Leland. And I, I never have Thanks, the courage man. to talk to her. So what should I do? Like the, that's what he uses R and I for. Flop house, quarter a night, no questions asked. Damn. I forgot flop houses were a thing in this time. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. Oh. No, that's not what I'm trying to do either. There it is. Let's go to the Hotel El Mar. You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? You killed someone! Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. 
fuck is a haberdasher's? See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. Ah, uh, haberdasher is a. It's a front a... for his illegal activities. Like it a is that, store. but he does carry some very sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. All right. Let's park this bitch on the sidewalk, go inside, and turn this hotel inside out. Hot water and cheap rates. Yeah, what do you want? LAPD. Hey, I'm the Paw Patrol. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Ah. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. The cop from the newspaper. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Buddy, you drop something? Those prominent Tommies. Gotta have it. Prominent Tommy. Uh, wait a minute. Mm, no. Mm, Marilyn Monroe. I'm free Bogart. Uh, Winston Churchill. Area? Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from the shadow. <laughs> All right. 207. Let's go kick this guy's door in and put our nuts on his pillow or something. Oh, patrol. I was married by a judge. Where's that pillow? There it is. Oh, I've right, got a thing here. All right. Looks like he's had a broad up here. He's looking at payouts. Mm. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. <laughs> what do you mean, nice little nest egg in the forties? Fuck you. Instaheat, Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. I swear, mm -hmm. this town is going straight to hell. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Candy? Right. Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. Well, it, it's coupon. If my girlfriend is to be believed, man. Has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. Aha. Uh -huh. A box of chocolates. Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner in the fight. A box of chocolates that he probably bought and ate by himself. And candy is a pseudonym that he used. All right. Definitely no woman. Girl. See if that gets us any closer. He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. Hmm. A sink. This is what murderers do. Dude, that is a fucking nasty sink, man. Anything to go on. Yeah, I'm just touching his mouth guard. Ew, fuck. I think that's the exit. Yeah, that's the exit. There's really not much else here, is there? Hmm. Ah. Uh. What do we do? Any ideas? All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Do like a kitchen too? Oh no, we already found that. I, I think we're. Uh, I think we have everything we need here. Uh, let's go to clues. Bookmakers odds. Bookmaker payouts, magazine coupon, movie ticket stub, a telegram. Uh, 
Help me out. All right. Let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Okay, yeah, nothing here. Nope, back to that fucking mouthpiece. Don't touch that with your hands. Yeah. All right, let, let's do it. Buddy, you dropped something? Nope, just my heart for you, sir. <laughs> no, I'm not. A, I'm, a, I'm an anonymous uh, uh, copman. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Let's go Where to Candy Edwards' address. We'll see if she's really made of candy or if that's just a goddamn lie. So, you boxed in the Marines? We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. Thousand push-ups, that's it. That's all? A leave motel, no vacancies. You think they just come and hang something up on the sign when there were vacancies? We need to know which room right. candies. My wife Can is so dumb. You, LAPD, man. We're looking for Candy Let's Edwards. Apartment 7. You take Damn. the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. Just like that? You friends of the Italian guy. Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type. Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look mm. of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. Interesting. Candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen call her. Where the hell do I? I know that face. That's the guy who busted all those Negro drug pushers last week. Jesus. Bro, you cannot say that word. No, I'm not so sure. All right. Looks like we have to go around the side here, maybe. Or something. Oh, okay. I'm in the pool. With no water. Nice. What is... What is this? Ah, here we go. Ran all the fucking way around the building. All the fun. Get in there, you know where he's hiding. Now tell me where he is before I cut you. Boom, thought patrol. Like hitting women, do you? We had a gun! This isn't gonna yeah. end well, mm. friend. Bam! Fuck yeah. Alright, check his pockets. Hmm. His hands are How extremely soft. Good breathing. Give her a I could just a feel them around. gently, gently caressing my face. He just like sticks the suspect's hand down his pants. He's like, yeah. Roy turns around. He's like, oh, what the fuck? Hmm. He just starts like, like kissing him on the nose. He's like, Alright, th th that's enough weird shit out of me. Let's just open the wallet, see what he is. George, Carl Ray, Anderson's Wallace, Melvin, Perry, Robert. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Hmm. Other pocket? Yeah! Nasty weapon. Oh. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. That's a nice switchblade. Ugh. All right, what do we got here? Let's go through She's her things. Hmm. I keep the underwear. And then in the next scene, I'm like wearing them, but on the outside of my pants. He's like, I, I don't know, man. Canard line. Scania sails from New York. Los Angeles, California. So one way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio.
Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. I'm gonna kiss your boyfriend while you watch. You haven't done anything wrong. She's like, no, Ever? please. I find that pretty hard to believe. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. All right. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. You're fucking You're lying. lying to me. I saw you your name on the magazine group. coupon. You came back after the fight and you weren't there. What happened? You can't prove that I was in the room. Bam, bitch. How do you think we found you, Candy? You wrote your name and address on a coupon. Look, Albert was supposed to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of it. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride keep him warm at night. So you walked out before Oof. the fight? Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be yeah, this anybody. is good. Know what I know. You are fucking lying to me. They're bookmakers, aren't they? Tell me the truth. How the hell would I know? Yeah, let's do the payouts. Albert wrote his winnings down on a notepad in the hotel room. We found the odds in his locker. Who has the betting slips? That son of a bitch, Albert. Everyone thought he was dumb, including me. But he beat them all. <laughs> Good job, Albert. You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. <laughs> Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know and you're going like to meet him. she looked like the fucking the cat meme where she's like... like nothing. He'll be lucky if he can get out of town in one piece. How Her hair looks weird. Her hair looks very strange. On. Hell, I know you're in on it. Looks like, you can think like a you big want, fucking pastry I'll just on top hands. of her head, like a bear claw. Yeah, you errands to run, and then I say There's a bear claw stuff. straight up on this lady's head. Do you want to press charges against our Carol? Just get him out of here. That's all I want. Get out, Carlo, you hump. <laughs> and get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. <laughs> my money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Dude, this is getting... Good luck, Miss Edwards. I hope things work out for you. Thank this is getting you. insane. Very kind of Bad people are looking to hurt candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station? I smell a payoff. I say stake her out. See where she goes. Yeah. Let's stake her out. What do you think they call it a stake out? Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. You think that really fucking works? You just sit down, like with a newspaper, and then they don't notice that you're there. You're in danger of losing the suspect. All right, let's wait right here. Oh, you can hold B to focus on them. That, that's kind of handy. Do, 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 do. He just like pulls out his gun and shoots her for like no reason. Oh, this is so tense. she not notice that? She's fucking dumb. Hmm. 
<laughs> this guy's just like, uh, sir? Can you please get away from my exhaust? I'm burning like a gallon every two minutes when I sit here, man. Because, you know, old cars are bad on gas. Lol. All right. What are, we, what are we doing here, Candy? Come on. I don't have all fucking day. Very sneaky. Very sneaky. Ah, ah. That's okay. It's okay. I'm not mad. Okay. No, well, at least it like lets me come back here. Magneto mode. That means any porn that we look for, no one will know. Are there any newspapers? No, there is nothing on these benches. All right, all right, all right, all right let's, let's run, let's run. And we're gonna fucking just spy on this lady. We're gonna stalk her. Which is totally legal in this time period, apparently. Alright, stuck behind this thing. Dude, that is so disrespectful. You are cutting through somebody's yard. I should find you just for that. Alright, my next one should be this car right here. Bam. And possibly that fence. Oh, 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 oh. Phelps, fuck. How? Oh. Aww. Damn it. Okay. We're right here. I don't know where the fuck she is. Yeah, that, that's not the place, man. Dude, the vice desk is so Bit. fucking cool. The the trail. All right, let, let's get behind this. Bam! You ain't seeing me for shit, do you? I'm all hiding. I got my red controller. I got my Mountain Dew. You ain't got shit on me, lady. Next box, next box, yeah! Except let's not stick out so hard, huh? This is based around a lot of patience, which I don't have. Fireproof warehouse, holy hell. Bet it's made with asbestos. All right, which way is she going? Which way is she going? I looked away Watch and that. I remembered I have a mini map, so. Thrifty liquor. Yet again. Do 
Dude, how does he know where I'm at? He's like, hmm, I could have sworn I saw that detective follow me. Bookmakers? Yes. Surprise, surprise. Can't we talk about this? Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? A blonde woman just came in here. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. How much did she collect? $3,600. Damn. Claim me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door? Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. Hmm. Interesting. What are you doing? An old intelligence trick from the Marines. Aha. Uh -huh. Is there more? Holy shit. Ah. I'd be a little worried. Just headed. Let's get moving. Be a little worried if it wasn't Hollywood. You want to make right. a bet? I can give you short odds on the Kenosha kid next month. Otherwise, I can't help you. I mean, like, where are we going, though? She left out the back door. All right, well, I guess we'll run around the, uh... I guess we'll run around the whole fucking block here. Oh shit, he's got the top up. Hello. Car 11K, 11 King. Further to your request, Bumco Fraud has three known bookmakers operating out of storefronts in the Hollywood area. Thrifty Liquor, 6106 Santa Monica, the Examiner Drugstore, and a Max Spirits at 1658 North Cherokee. All right. We we'll go ahead and go around. We're gonna have himself to win. And Candy is picking up the winnings. Smart play. Oh. The question is, is Candy collecting on Albert's behalf, or is she cheating him too? Damn. Damn is over the hill. The punching bag for the activity. She knows goddamn the place. No, we know we're doing none of that. I think he worked out the place isn't LA. He's punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill. I, I would Give me love. A Churchill is a fighter. I would love to boy. drive around. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. Jesus. I would absolutely love to drive around in L.A. in a drop-top Cadillac. All right, I'm kicking the door and arrest everybody in there. Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervin. Sure did. Sure about did. To close up, she took me to the cleaners. Four thousand clams and change. How long ago did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Damn. Oh, ran past the phone. We got it. Yellow Cab Company. Yellow Cab. We need to get after her fast. Sorry, I had to fix my headset. Okay. So, where is the... Oh, the phone's on the wall. I... God. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. If this was illegal, like, how are they operating, like, right on the strip right there? Connect me to the yellow cab company. I think that's what I want to know. Please. This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood. 
Is anybody really excited about the Steam Deck? Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that? Not not Stream Deck, but Steam Deck. A lot of people seem to be really excited about it. We're done playing around. Get Mervin to give us an address on Ray's place. Do you have any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Not now, Mervin. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. All right. Hey, we were in here before. This is part of that uh the thing we did, you know, that one time. And you you fucking drive. I'm tired of driving. Go to right, bookmakers. Now that we have the top up, what if what if we just kissed? This is a joke. This broad's planning on cleaning out every bookmaker in town. Hammond needed to make sure he was getting a bigger payday than if he'd taken the flop. Never trust the limeys, especially where a fight's concerned. God, dude. He's like, oh, don't trust these people, don't trust that people. I'm beginning to think my partner might be a tad racist. I'm just thinking that. Oh my god. That's the cab waiting for her head. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. This is the way the thing runs. It sounds like a diesel engine. Are we gonna tail her? We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. All right, we're fine, we're fine. God damn it, everyone's looking at us, Cole. That's it, we're spotted, back off. Back uh. off! How many stops is she gonna make? Oh, this is so spoopy. This is not really spoopy. Driving in New York is like... I keep calling this New York, but you know, it's like Los Angeles, California. How do I use my blinkers? I want to use my blinkers. Wow. Is full of himself. Being this sure he was going to win. What if he like was paid to take it to uh, everybody bet on him losing? And then he won. What? Okay, sir. Can you just back off? This dramatic ass music for me, just like playing with the trigger. I mean, like, ping, trigger, trigger, trigger. You got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. Shit. Oh. Damn. All right, we'll try again. We'll try again. We got this. You know, I thought I would hate this uh, circle pad. I thought I would hate it a lot. But it turns out I actually like the way it feels on my hand. We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. All right. Will you do this? We are sneaky as fuck. Nobody knows it's us. This is two dudes chilling in a car four feet apart because we're not gay. We'll go ahead and turn into traffic. A lot of people don't know that's how you're supposed to do it, but it is. You might just like turn the siren on and go, Woo! You quit driving that. like a jackass already? Damn. I'd say that would defeat the purpose, though, because we're trying to be none of us. Alright, right turn on red. I wonder what it would be like actually trying to follow the rules of the road in this game. I have a feeling it would be very hard to do. It's like in these games, you typically just like, you just do whatever the fuck you want. Like as far as driving, like to get you from point A to point B or whatever. 
Oh no, this is where I got caught last time. I feel like she knows. I feel like her ass knows that I'm here. It's like, we just made three laps. That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That's all I know. Yo, are we doing a case or like, are you just salty because you lost some cash, bro? Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive. There's a lot of lefts and rights happening. Like a lot of lefts and rights happening. I think she knows I'm following her. Okay. Pull over. She's heading inside. Yeah, that R, it's for Rockstar. Well, this isn't the gay, the, the strip I think club. I think I saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. <laughs> this guy must have escaped the loony bin. Oh shit, where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Modest little person with much to be modest about. What the fuck? Is that an insult? That's the one. About a week ago, this guy murdered his wife and dumped the body. But that's the cop who put him away. Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck happened? Roy! Call an ambulance. Hammond got away. <coughs> he said. Just try and sit still, Candy. Who me. shot you? Was it Albert? Car. I <gasps> fucking did this. They're on the way. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend. Using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split. He won't make it mm. out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. Now there's a lady who's dead. Dude, this is fucking terrible. Hmm. She had a gun. Let's open this. Thirty-two caliber. One shot. One round fired. spent. All right. Let's go through her purse. I want some lipstick for me. Mm -mm. The Egyptian theater. Nope, nothing else. Okay. Is there so anything what else? Now? They got Peter, a fuckload of blood. To go on. I don't think that toilet paper is going to be enough to clean up all this blood. Aw. They're so cute. It's really not fucking much. Oh, wait. Feels like there's a... Aha! Moxie. Did you whine to get in here and now you're gonna whine to leave? I just leave him. Okay, bye. I know that face. That's mm. the guy Jesus. So what next? Hammond must be hiding out the theater. Let's get there and square things up. That's that cop. Okay, but, like but you drive. drive. Do we know where we're going? Let's go to the Egyptian theater. Uh, yeah, so Look at this clown. Be like one of those crazy like theater people who say theater is and say, yeah girl. sure you didn't deserve that poor girl half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her 
Damn. Leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over Mickey C. Hmm. You always hear things in movies like about fixed fights and stuff like that. It's kind of cool to be able to like play through one. All right, but is this, this Domino's? Like a long shot. Aren't they all? Car 11 King, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. A message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. Really? The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. KGB Son of a player. bitch. He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money Damn. too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this a shootout? Is this if it's, if it's a shootout? It's not a shootout. Okay. Because if it was, boy, I wanted me one of them big old brrr guns. Why'd you kill her, Carlo? Your gripe was with me. She was collecting the money for you. Mickey made it clear it was either me or you, and, and I intend to keep on living. Oh, 20 cents for a banana split. Damn. I, want a th I would like to, to be able to see a theater like this. Oh, can't run upstairs. All right. It would be cool to see something like this. She was running out on me. Then you were going to let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dive. Everyone wanted me to take the short money. It's for the best, kid. You were washed up, kid. You couldn't climb, and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere. Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying, and it wasn't Damn. for lack of courage. I didn't have much. Dude, but you only I got, like, probably, like, like, two bullets left in I that thing. I did it thing. for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself. So did little boy. You did it and make a quick buck. And Candy did it and make her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah. I've got the money. All I need to do is get rid of you. It's going to be a shame, kid, but that's business. Oof. Oh, he's up the stairs. We got to go to him because he's up the stairs. Dude, turn that fucking light out. You're going to get shot, Cole. We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon. You're making a big mistake, Arcaro. Fair I can... Come on, It shits Throw out tense the here. Did I just did I accidentally Where bypass like a bunch of stuff? I think I did. Just kicks it out of the out of the way. Are you doing know, handcuffing him? Motherfucker's dead. It's time to come out now, Hammond. Put the gun down, Roy. That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Discania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine, and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. Damn. Fuck you! <laughs> Whoa. That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps! Donnelly and the Homicide Squad send their best, Phelps. They're more than pleased <laughs> that you wrapped up the Edwards killing. 
They're a little mystified about the motive. You have any ideas on that? Uh, crime of passion, sir. Uh, looks like some sort of love triangle between the manager, the fighter, and uh, uh, his girlfriend. No sign of the scrapper? No, sir. Looks like he left town after the fight. <laughs> Damn. Okay. It's homicide's problem now. Good work, gentlemen. Nice. Oh, uh, yeah, we only had three questions. Yeah, I guess we did only have three questions, and I damaged the shit out of our police vehicle. That wasn't a police vehicle, it was a vehicle. 187 at 5810 Murata Avenue. Homicide wants you over there. The coroner thinks the broad was whacked using the army morphine. Don't say anything, Roy. Just get over there. Yeah, Chief ain't looking too happy with Roy. Let's just, uh... Why don't we just hang out out here, man? Look at this. Look what I can do. He jumps into the car from the second story roof. Breaks his neck, both his legs. He can no longer be a cop. I should start introducing us as Detective Earl. This is my science teacher, Mr. Phelps. Your interest in my appearance is starting to get me worrying. Like it or not, we're a dysfunctional couple now. People judge me with you on my arm the same way they would a fat broad with a five o'clock shadow. Oh my god, dude. So rude. <laughs> oh, Susie, you are so bad. <laughs> hey, how's it going? He's like, uh, I'm in jail. I don't, I don't really particularly like being in jail. There we are. All right, come on, let's go. You drive. You know the way. You can drive. Dude, the AI is so clunky. It is funny as fuck. All right, we got about 55 Seems minutes distracted. left. We recovered the morphine. Some of it might be unaccounted for. So what? That's life. We did our job. Yeah, like the morphine I'm selling out of my apartment. Closing one case opens another. Do you have any idea what is really going on while we're wasting our time following this stuff? Drop my controller. I will be right back. Are you going to tell me? The deals being done right now will change the face of L.A. forever, and we're wasting our time on some hunk. Someone's little girl. Visit the morgue at the end of the month when the John and Jane Doe's are cremated. Their percentages. The odds for and against lightning striking. Dude, this is so bleak. He's like rusty, but like even angrier and sadder. Makes me so sad. Makes me have a really big sad. Second floor, apartment six in the back. All right, let's Thanks. do it. What if he gives us the wrong apartment? Like, just no idea. So somebody died. Morphine was involved, so therefore it is a vice case. You made homicide. That I did. Nice. Good to see you, Phelps. You two want a hug? Or can we get on with it? Relax, Rusty. 26 years old, fashion model. And I miss that guy. Cleaning lady. I like him the most. She called it He's in. real. He's raw, brothers, and like god work. damn, he looks good in that pale yellow. Sleeping pills. Falls asleep in the tub. Rest in peace. Case closed. Here, here. Mal is 100% that it's murder. Do you mind if I take a look around? Sure. Go right ahead. Let me rephrase that. I'm gonna look around. Like how he's just like making fun of Cole. He's like, you know, this is my science teacher. Helps. Mal, we've had a look around. Rusty thinks it's a waste of time. What's your theory? Come on, Mal. I haven't Tell us why we're yet. dragged down here. If the victim was alive when she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result is that a lot of foam is generated. Mm -hmm. 
This foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. Notice anything about our Vic? May I took a look? Be my guest. Hmm. Our victim a is a clearly a woman. Deck. And uh, she's got hands. Bruising on the forearms and... Dude, bruises. that looks like a bite. Look like bite marks. Ooh. Very good. Our, our victim is definitely a woman of the lady variety. Uh... Get a, a fat stone on that way. wedding ring. I could be wrong, but it looks like a black sapphire. All right. Uh, anything else? Let's uh, let's look at the head. Hmm. The neck is bruised pretty badly. The eyes are a classic sign of morphine, and the bruises tell their own story. I think one man held her down, and another held her arm and injected her put her in the bath to try to cover it as a drowning and spread a trail of barbiturates take a look around outside on your way out and see if you can find the sorrets it would make my theory and morphine would have been very quick and there wouldn't have been much of a struggle okay so find two guys who recently bought sorrets and weren't junkies and you might be on to something all right well let's uh let's go through her belongings i guess uh -huh. sure this means much this is definitely hers. Them ladies like the hairbrushes. Those men's like hairbrushes too. Pictures of storks. Want more pictures of storks? Quality English smoking jacket. I don't know anyone under forty-five who would wear one. Smoking jacket. More pills. Why would there pills? Why would there be pills just thrown out like here? Barbiturates. Mm hmm. Oh, got stuck. Okay. Uh, what about on this side? Maybe something on the nightstand that looks important, possibly. Hmm. There's stuff in it. And he just puts it down. Barbiturates. What else is rattling around in this thing? More pills. Hmm. Aha! We should speak to a doctor. Prescribing both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. Probably a lot of fun, though. All right. So we got the uh, the benzedrine or fucking whatever. What about in here? The fuck are you? Oh, there's quite a few pictures here. This one. This one's. This one's going in my house. Not this one though. Definitely not that one. Hmm. The ass scene. XXX, like the pornos. All right. Uh, what about over here? Beautiful girl. Clothes certainly aren't from the Sears catalog. Oh, wait a minute. Did I have the option to investigate that one further as well? Aha! Oh. Nothing. What about this? Nope. Okay. Well then. Don't I feel silly? Uh, let's see what else we have here. A telephone. Drug dealers use these, therefore she must be a drug dealer. <laughs> Would be so nice to have a little apartment like this. It's just like a ladle. Hmm. Yep, nothing. Okay, so... Oh no, this is just like rolling pin and other shit. Alright. Let's 
so wait a minute. Yep, everybody out the fucking way, please. Is there like a pocket or something I can... No, it just goes to Haskell and Shaw. Is there anything like... pleased well that's hardly conclusive given the number of those things we've come across recently the autopsy will confirm it one way or another i mean like that is true all right let's go upstairs let's talk to the uh the lady i don't know who that lady is just sitting there i don't think anybody said anything to me I'm Detective Phelps. I'm here to try and help Julia. Do you mind answering some questions? Virginia Reynoldson. I'm just so shocked. I feel like there's something I should be doing, someone I should call. We can make those calls, ma'am. Uh, Who needs to be notified? That's just it. I don't know. Dog was laying Julia in my doesn't light. doesn't have any family in town. Hmm. Someone has to set her affairs in order. Mr. Henderson, maybe? Uh, or you can just, like, there. not worry about I, it. I don't know. If you give the details to the other detectives, ma'am, they can try and get in contact. Was Miss Randall depressed about something? Upset? No more than normal. That's a lie. There were sleeping here, pills. Julie was obviously disturbed about something. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oof, my neck. There were sleeping pills. She was taking barbiturates. She couldn't sleep. You must have seen them in her room. You've seen the pill box. The things she hid in there. Dude, depression in the 40s herself. must have been really fucking Always hard. New clothes and jewelry. She lived like a movie star. Oh. Princess. Does modeling really pay that well? No. Did Miss Randall have many friends visit? <laughs> My science teacher. Cole sure. does look I like a science teacher. A That's a lie. Lying to me, Mrs. Reynoldson. Julia had men stay here. I will not speak ill of the dead. You can't prove that. So I guess she owns a men's smoking jacket. Huh? Who owns the smoking jacket? I wouldn't like to tell tales you understand. That's Mr. Henderson's. An older man, very distinguished looking. Mm -hmm. He seemed very much in love with her. Where would we find him? I'm sorry. I, I don't know. He said he lives in San Francisco. What was it like working for Miss Randall? Perfectly fine, officer. Mm. I'm going to doubt. Mrs. But Reynolds, I doubt it. it seems like there's something you want to tell me. She was very high strung. Lovely one moment and screaming at you the next. She wanted it all and she wanted it damn quick. Of course, being so beautiful, it seemed like she was going to get it. Not the way it's turned out, though, is it? Thanks, Mrs. Reynolds. You've been very helpful. One of the other detectives will take Thank you. I'm going to go to the strip club. Home. Oh, is it pickle shakers? Yeah, I'll do you want to come with? Here. Stefan Rusty, we'll take a look around outside and follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? Damn, squeeze. You think Carruthers has called it right? He rarely gets it wrong. I don't know. I'm a Galloway. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle their dope. God, dude. Oh, take a look outside. 
Uh, oh. What about this cup? This isn't what we're looking for. This is definitely what we're looking for. Look at that. You put water in there. You could drink it. It's all good to go. I don't really think it's like a bad game. Like some people kind of give it crap, but it's like, eh. Like it, it's for the time, I guess. It's not bad at all. I like how I just don't sprint when I like. <laughs> this guy must have the all right, you drive. Uh, I don't even know where we should go next. Should we go to the practice or? There, hold up. Let's go to the to the dress store. Oh, I guess I'm driving. All right. There we go. All right, let's try not to destroy anything again. Whoa! So you're going too slow. Oh no! Oh oh oh! How would you know? Okay. Promoted so fast, you barely have time to learn their names. Let me oh. fill you in. Lukowski's a pushover. Galloway's we did it. Drunk. You could learn a thing or two from both. I have broken the same line every time. I don't see why they'd be any better or worse at it than me. I noticed you said better. Hubris disguised as humility. Kind hubris disguised as pubis. Why do you always switch them? <laughs> Galloway's got nothing to prove. He's been on homicide for years. And he's welcome to it. You're a terrier, Phelps, and that's what I need. Not some old bulldog who can't get up a flight of stairs without coughing up his lunch. What the fuck? officers need help, Hollywood and Island. Hollywood and Island officers need help to eliminate the fuck are we talking about? No, we're not, we're not doing that. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, God. We only have like... 40 minutes left, so we gotta figure out what we're doing with this case. Why did that guy back up? I want to know what was going on with the AI right there. Ah, shit, I missed. Not my transmission, I ain't gonna worry about it. Get the fuck out of the way. All right, here we go. Jump out now. So you're the first in this family born without a tail. Well, hello. What can I help you with today? Yeah, I have a kiss. LAPD, ma'am. I hope not I from you, from him. Wrong. And he points at Roy. We're making some inquiries about Julia Randall. Does she work here? No, I had to let her go. Is she in some sort of trouble? She was found dead this morning. By a morphing injection and several bite marks. How long had Julia worked as a model? Well, she worked in New York before coming here. She was a very beautiful girl. Could you tell us why you let Ms. I'm gonna Randall say that's go? truth. Husbands sometimes come in here with their wives. When Julia Randall modeled, the husbands were often more interested in her than they were their wives' dresses. The wives weren't happy, and neither was I. Mm. Did she have any close friends here? Actually, yes. Heather Swanson. Would you like to speak with her? I'd like that very much. I don't care what Could anybody says. Randall's death. A hot dog well, is, in fact, a sandwich. Heather? Because, These I mean, by that LAPD. logic, like a sub sandwich is not a sandwich because you don't cut the bread in half. With Julia Randall, Miss Swanson? I'm just saying, yes. man. Julia helped me get my job here. She's not in any kind of Ma'am, is a hot dog considered a sandwich or not? It was a fast life. Oh, no. Answer. And he, like, draws his gun on her. Stanley would call her that, but I wouldn't. She's full of life, <laughs> wonderful company. 
That's a lovely engagement ring. Is she really accuse her of lying? Henry gave it to me. Very interested in engagement rings. Do you mind if I take a closer look? Hmm. That that's a weird fuck call, man. Come on. That's mm -hmm. some pearl, Miss Swanson. Would have cost Henry a fortune. He must really love you. He's like, this is a ring. It's just like. All right, what's the relationship Julia? with the victim? I just introduced through my Who are you tomorrow? I feel like that's the truth. Tell us about it. Yes, he is. Henry has a fashion business. He and Julia have been friends for years. <laughs> just, just start asking. <laughs> so that I have a question. She doesn't answer, so he just Mr. starts firing Anderson. his gun wildly around the room. She's like, "No, my hot dogs! They were in that cabinet." Oh God. She was wearing a sapphire engagement ring. Someone must have given it to her. She never mentioned a man named Henderson to me. I really find it hard to make jokes That's like now, during this you ask your fiance because it's such a Hollywood serious police game police. and it takes it itself very, very seriously it. and it does no, it well I don't think but I'll pass on that message until you tell I just me have a hard time like oh Julia whoa whoa Randall whoa found dead this morning what? and you're gonna die for not answering my hot dog question oh no oh fuck that oh no lined up perfectly <laughs> she was so full of life well, she was also full of morphine and barbiturates. Just saying. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. All right. Fine. The Dr. Where Stone. Nice move not telling old Sweet Lips in there about her friend taking a big jump till we were half out the door. Very slick. I figured we'd get more out of her that way. You're learning, Phelps. We'll make a vice cop out of you yet. I don't know, man. It, it's not as... I don't feel like that was as bad as the uh, the time like some child's mom was murdered and then we literally walked in and was like, your mom is dead. Anyway, can you please answer some questions for us? Richer, cleaner and bolder, finest tobacco in America. God, I haven't smoked in a long time. That makes me want one, like seeing advertisements like these. I, I don't know. Oh, hey, let's, let's go to the deli. Now, uh, where the fuck is the practice? What is this? Am I, am I correct? So full of the same way you're about to... So full of life the same way you're about to be full of lead if you don't answer. Uh, what doctor am I looking for? Hang on. The fuck is wrong with me? Dr. Stoneman. Okay. Uh, Harvey something. Is there like a, oh, there's another one. All right, we're good, we're good. Uh, third floor, fifth floor, Dr. Stoneman 505. Stoneman, office 505. That's what I fucking said, Cole. Can we? Okay. I really want these Art Deco style billings to come back. I swear, if we locked up every doctor sitting in there in the elevator, and he's just like, work half days. This is like Cole. Did you just? He's like, leave, leave the elevator. Uh, five oh five. Oh, I thought there would be like an arrow pointing to five oh five. Uh, two. One, three, uh, bam, thought yes, patrol. Sir, your name? LAPD, we'd like to see Dr. Stoneman. Uh, Dr. Did, Stoneman is with the did anybody like see that he just no, jumped in front of me? No, wouldn't. Tell him we want to see him now. There's no need to be N-A-O. Save it, sister. Dr. Stoneman, I have some gentlemen from the LAPD here to see you um send them in please I'll uh, I'll see this patient again after they've left your investigation is much more important Dr. Stoneman 
We yeah, but your investigation is so much more important than my health. Yeah, dude, fuck you. Somebody's dead, and I gotta get to the bottom of it. Do you mind if we ask you some questions about Ms. Randall? Uh, um, sure, but detective, compromise, Doctor Do you Probably think hot dogs Pish. are sandwiches? Because I do too. Then Phelps like lays his gun on the table. How well did you know Miss Randall? Fairly at all. Um, she'd only been a patient six months or so. Hmm. No. Julia Randall has been your patient for nearly a year. I'm sure you know that. Do you doubt my veracity, detective? Do you have access to my patient records? No, but I, I saw that there were sleeping pills that you prescribed to her. Like, right here. Your prescriptions contradict you, doctor. Miss Randall was in the fashion business, as you probably know. She was jumped up on Benzedrine by day and knocked down by sleeping pills at night. Oof. I, I told her to slow up, but no. Hmm. Life was too short for her. And, and you I have some Benzedrine, the Benzedrine on the house. It's not illegal, detective. A lot of young women in her line of work use it for weight loss. <laughs> Cut on table. I'm going to get my hot dog answers. Now we can do this the easy way or the hard way. You wrote Julia Randall a Meanwhile, Benzedrine. Roy, my partner, is just all like, yeah, I don't know, man. I just started following him around at this point. Kind of scared of him. I let him do whatever he wants. I'm going to call bad cop on this. Benzedrine is addictive, as I'm sure you know, doctor. As I warned her, but she was determined. She said she needed it to control her appetite. Sounds like you knew her pretty well. I knew the line of work she was involved in. That'll be all for now, Dr. Stoneman. What kind of work was it? What kind of work are you in? What kind of practice is this? Oh, hello. You just like pick stuff up? Maybe. Hmm. No. No? That's weird that I can just like pick stuff up and examine things here. I feel like I, I should. No, we, we already determined that's nothing. There's a sink here. A lady's coat that this doctor probably wears. Why would it let me pick things up like that over there? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm just going straight at this. What if he did? What if he just jumped out the fucking window? Yeah, let's use the phone before we leave. Operator, give Hello, me Minsky's dispatch. Pizza. I would like to order a large pie. Now. I'd like everyone in the Felt, kitchen to one, have two, sat four, on seven. it at least once, bare asked. How could I help, Detective? Any message? You heard my pizza order. Yes, Detective. The coroner has been asking to speak to you. I can connect the call if you like. Please, thank you. No, I don't want to talk to him. That guy yeah. is weird. He's got a weird fascination with the dead bodies. Sure thing, Mal. We'll be right over. All right. Let's go to the morgue, I guess. God, I hate hanging out with that guy. Ding. Guess I have to go in, don't I? Oh, stop doing that. He's like, run, you don't want to be in there. The old boy is lying. About what? I don't know. I really want to go back and watch a bunch of these old detective movies. I feel like that'd be a lot of fun. All right. Let's have you go to the hospital. Oh. Hell yeah. Well, hey, I got like an hour, half an hour left. The physician patient privilege oh, card, and I got some to Guys, it is taco night. There are is the taco a sandwich? Have a right to keep private until it gets in the way of police work. And it's only private when it suits them. A couple of drinks, and every <laughs> doctor I've met will spill your darkest secrets in a heart. I'm pretty sure a taco could be considered a sandwich, maybe a burrito. I don't know, where the fuck do we draw the line? 
This is gonna keep me up at night. Oh, hell yeah. I don't know if I can do that for, like, stream, though. I would like to, but... I know you can't really do that kind of thing. Detective Phelps and Yo, where's the stiff at? Yes, Detective. He's waiting for you in the examination room. There's, like, a black and white mode you can do, but I don't really... My wife is I don't want to do that. Oh, what the fuck, dude? You're the only person enjoying this, Mal. Get on with it. The bruising confirms two sets of hands, so we have two killers. Death was caused by heart failure due to an overdose of morphine. Have you dragged mm. us down here to gloat? We already heard your theory. We agree that she was murdered. Yes, of course. I have something else to show you. All right, Mal, what gives? The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two by four. So what? Ew. Good riddance. I found two surrettes in his jacket pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. We're listening, Mal. No sign of morphine use and no metabolized morphine in his blood. Scratch marks on his face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, Mal. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. Ooh. So you're saying Laughing Boy here could be one of our killers? Oh, dude, That's he's moody as fuck. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. He's sketchy as fuck, too. Else. Huh. Sorry, I don't play. I don't know if it's significant. I don't know what the His fuck this is. Empty. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. Oh, it's a harmonica. All right. Carruthers. I, I feel dumb for yeah, not knowing here. that because I can actually play the harmonica. They have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you next door. Let me know how you get on. Sure, Mal. And thanks for the lead. Sure, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, whoa, 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 Ah, no, you, I'm looking at these dead bodies here. Ugh. No, she's way less ugly. She's way cuter than that dead guy. All right, well, let's get the hell out of here, I guess, and just go back to the police station. Oh. Uh This is KTI Radio with this public service announcement. Are we at the hospital? Yeah, we're we're already there. Okay. The LAPD advises all parents do not let their play, their kids play Dungeons and or Dragons. Damn it. All right, we're here. I just wish you'd hurry up and propose. Oh, I feel dumb. Homicide. You know you made it if you can get that right. Nope, no one to interview. Uh, this is an interview too, Phelps. Go help him get whatever it is off his chest. All right, but those are the stairs. And this is the lineup gallery. Ain't nobody in here. Interview three. Interview two. Hell yeah. Mr. Arnett, I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. Thanks for coming in. Call me Henry. It's the least I could do. Henry, you look like you walk straight out of the 30s. How well did you What's know your relationship with hot dogs and do you Maybe. think they're sandwiches? I'm in the clothing business and Julia occasionally modeled. I highly doubt that. Asking whether you banged her in a chuck on the shoulder fraternity kind of way. I'm engaged to be married. It wouldn't be polite. Answer the question. This will remain private. Heather won't have to know. <laughs> yes. We had relations. With that ostrich. Miss Randall's landlady said she was seeing an older man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. That's a lie, because of the housekeeper statement. Henry, I don't like when people lie to me. She was seeing a man named Henderson. You know who I'm talking about. 
Easy on, detective. I may have heard of Henderson, but I don't know his full name. I think he's from New York or someplace back mm -hmm. well, How about the men's smoking jacket? Or, no, no, sorry, the housekeeper's statement. That's funny. Julia told her cleaning lady that he lived in San Francisco. Okay, you got me. I don't know where he's from. Julia wanted money. She always wanted money. She I mean, she sure. Something, this guy. She was wearing a distinctive engagement ring. You think she might have convinced him to buy it for her? Maybe he did, yeah. Maybe he and Julia were getting serious. Last question. If a hot dog is considered a sandwich, a sub sandwich or a sub is also considered a sandwich. They're basically the same thing. This one is smaller and with meat in it. How do you feel about that? If that's all, Heather's distraught. I probably need to get home. Why can I not? I can't. Ever heard of a it wouldn't Jimmy let LeBlanc? me select it. No. Should I have? Is, is he an entertainer or something? I'm gonna doubt that. So you wouldn't They're have definitely fucking sandwiches if subs are sandwiches. If this guy is a criminal, he, he might have been involved. But like I said, I've never heard of this LeBlanc character. Heather told us that you were in fashion. That's right. I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one round. You're some kind of traveling salesman? Mm -hmm. Once I got out of the Corps, I used my... You were in the Marines? Sure. I'm proud of it. The Fighting Sixth. You were in the Sixth Marines? Yes. I was a captain. Which company? Uh, Oof. various companies. We All had a lot of, of casualties. Which engagements? Okinawa. A couple of other places. That will be all for now, Henry. You've been very helpful. Ladies. I you walk out of that there. That son like... of a bitch was never in the Marines. Why'd you let him off the hook? Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Arnett is an amateur. Ooh. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on to Bukowski? Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass it's just it a on. note that Thanks. says, like, Can like, you do you like me? Yes, no, maybe. Jimmy LeBlanc and find out who was his last arresting officer. Have him get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. Hot dog isn't a sandwich? Doubt. I suppose you'd say a taco isn't a sandwich either. You murdered that hot dog and you don't even have the decency to acknowledge that it's a sandwich in death. Oh, car tailing. All right. Can you quit driving like a jackass already? It was squirming nah, out of warm in there. Don't you love it when they pull the war hero excuse? Actually, maybe you don't. Dude, come on. Go. Just drive. Doesn't matter if there's a person in front of you, it's the 40s. Just run people over in this time period. Crawl a kill. Reading advertisements like when I should be, be driving. Alright, we got this. Nice and easy. Dude! <laughs> oh god, that'd be funny. Just like push your partner out for no fucking reason. In the middle of tailing, both helps. He just becomes the worst detective. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna get a sandwich. And he just gets out and like, like walks off. Wait, get, get in the car. Get in the car. Go, go, go. We're gonna lose his ass. All for a joke. Where are you taking us, Henry? You see that? I hit another car and that cop was like, ah, ah, not today. I don't care. I'm driving alongside him and he's like, ah, no, no, not right now. I'm on my way home. Are you fucking serious? Did you see that shit? No, I'm a cop. I don't need to be insured. That's how it works, right? That idiot never 
never stepped foot in Okinawa. Damn, Cole kind of spicy and mad right now. Wow, the what thing? I don't know how far behind your uh, your thing is. Like the latency, it's supposed to be like five seconds. Nah, LA man, LA Noir. <laughs> so pretty goddamn close. Ah, uh, uh, it's second hand store. He needs money and fast. Ooh, he sees us. He sees me. With him. See how he intends to spend the money. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Hoof it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Dude, how do you know where I'm gonna be at? Five percent off all marked prices. That's a doing? fucking fortune in the forties. I got distracted by the five percent off sale sign and got caught. I don't know how fucking hilarious that is. Oh my god, everybody loves a good sale, even cops. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Huff it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Oh, I got, I got, I got discovered. It's fine, it's fine. It's okay. Alright, we'll try slack. this again. Closer. I'm just gonna run I'll across the, the street. When I'm done here. I'm gonna look right here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna blend in. We gotta be sneaky. Five percent off. You won't distract me a second time. Da -da -da -da. Oh, this is like right there. Not even watching the right guy. Go now. He's just run into traffic. There he is. Ben, I risk losing the trail. What are you doing? You can't see me. No, you can't see me. I was behind the car. That's how this works. No, no, we could do this. We could do this. I believe in us. I may have accidentally pushed yes. Okay, now we're good. Gotta get closer. Puff it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. All right, there he is. There he is. I still like with this mechanic, I still want to see a spy thriller set in this time. He's like, this would be the perfect time. We've got the communists doing all the communisty things. I mean, it'd be a grand old time. Let's go incognito. Pretend to look at stuff. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I see you, buddy boy. Which way are you going? All right, I'm going to cut across the street. This way. And hide behind this bargain sign. Like, also right here, so he can't see me. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. All right, all right, nice and calm. Yeah, there's no way in hell I'd be able to just blend in and follow him. Look at this fucking t-shirt. 
It's not a t-shirt, but still. It's like somewhere around here, and I don't. Too much slack. Can I get closer? How the hell did he evade me? All right. Okay, if I can't do it and it asks me again, we will skip. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Hoof it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. All right, no 5% off signs, nothing. Lady. I couldn't go incognito for some reason. All right. We might just skip it to like fucking move on. Yes. Yes, we will. We will skip that. Oh, look, I did it. Yeah, cool. I'm, I'm the best. That's right. Mexico City. One way ticket, please. Next available seat. That would be one day from now. Is that okay? It's going to have to be. I wonder how those places worked back in the day. It's like pretty much like online has kind of just came in here. given us that. Yes, sir. To Mexico City tomorrow night. If you hear from him again, don't mention this conversation. What have you got? He bought a ticket from Mexico. Damn. So tomorrow night. That's Dude, good. they just gave up where this he was going. Better. Looks like a Rice Krispie treat. Should have seen the look on the pawnbroker's face when I told him to hand it over. <laughs> oh. The guy who owned the joint thought it was worth at least 10 large for a cigarette case. Arnett only got 600 clams. Oh, my God. The poor pawnbroker. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, we're getting something good. Can you go to this one? All right, let's All right, go to the Hollywood two. police station. Oh my god, can you imagine that? Imagining you're like scoring big as a pawnbroker. Go ahead, and then, KGPL. Yeah. Yeah, Bukowski. Roger, KGPL, 11K, Holloway, my boys. Car 11K, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King, go ahead. RNI reports the last arresting officer for DOA, Jimmy LeBlanc, was patrolman Fred Wallace, uh -huh. who's working a shift on Hollywood 9th Beat, Sunset Boulevard, between Gordon and Wilcox. Car 11K, on route. Not bad, not bad. Another day, another case, another bad guy put behind bars. Sir, also, we uncovered a serial killer and it just kind of got pushed under the rug. Hang on, I'll dig out a copy for you. I'm just saying. Here you go. Like, that's kind of fucked up. Is the cigarette case on there? Anyone. Mm. It's here. Arnett must be out of his mind trying to move this while under a murder cloud. Damn. 1947, not 1927. Of course a girl can ask the fella out. I, I guess that's like everything. Right. Wait. Hang on. Let's see. Oh, uh, Pearl Ring in a pillbox, too. We have that. Uh, Julia Randall's ring is here. And uh, oh, silver pillbox. Seems Julia wasn't the first board society girl to hide her bennies in that pillbox. Well, are there any leads? Gold candelabra. Can you imagine having an actual gold candelabra still nowadays? Oh, be amazing. 
Uh, cigarette case, black sapphire ring, pearl ring. Ah, ah, ah. Pearl ring. Even the engagement ring was purloined. Our net is a cad. There we go. Got what we needed. So... I guess we don't need to do anything else here. Am I, am I correct in thinking that? Or... Eh, that's fine. It's fine. It's cool. You can drive. There should be a button like that you can press. Like there should be a live chat button. Hello, Polly. How do we feel about hot dogs being considered sandwiches? And to that extent, like since sub sandwiches are sandwiches. Uh, since I say I have two other viewers, and oh my god, four people, holy hell. So, what I want to pose the question is here, like, hot dogs, are they considered a sandwich? Because a sub-sandwich is made with the same style of bread. But on top of that, um, like, how far are we willing to push that envelope as scientists? Would we say that even tacos and burritos are maybe sandwiches because... There's something that holds like bread. Terrible burglary. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you, ma'am. We have some questions, if you don't mind. <laughs> Why would I mind, young man, if you are returning 43 pieces of my property? Okay, before we get down to that, I'll have a scotch. Thanks, straight up. Damn. Can you get the detective a drink, please? Sir, you should not be drinking on the job. All right. It's a list of stolen items, Can you lady. To us what was stolen? It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen, detective. <laughs> oh, I think you know what would be stolen. A priceless tiara that has been in the family for 50 years. A Fabergé cigarette case that was worth $25,000. Mm. Why are you lying about the value of your jewelry, Mrs. Eastrom? Who do you think you are? Making heinous accusations. Detective goddamn home. Cole Phelps and I ate a tooth earlier today, lady. Uh, where the fuck is it? We want the Fabergé cigarette case. We recovered the cigarette case from a pawnbroker. No one knows the real value of an item better than those guys. <laughs> I inflated its value for the insurance claim. There, are you satisfied? daughter's boyfriend was quite taken with the case. That's quite illegal. I think illegal. he was even more disappointed than I was when it was stolen. Alright. Burglary report incident. That terrible That night. hot dogs are At not considered sandwiches. Ago. But let's not Then Cole like that. slowly let's lays his gun on the table and goes, I think you'd like to reconsider your answer. Uh, I think that's the truth. I didn't I didn't really pay attention, to be honest with you. I'm going to guess truth. Were you in the house when the burglary yeah. took place? Yeah. Good heavens, no. I was at a social function held by a Dr. Harold Stoneman and his lovely wife. I returned home and all of my things were missing. Hmm. That's about it for now, Mrs. Eastrom. The department will get in touch. Interesting. Right now you can recover your valuables. You've only mentioned a few of the items that have been stolen, detective. What else has been recovered? You see, Phelps, that's why you get the drinks in early. Hello, mother. Hello, Whoa. detectives. What is going on? We'd like to ask exactly the same question. You have met my daughter this morning at work. Oh, mother and father divorced. I took my father's name. The detectives recovered some of the things that were stolen, darling. Well, what did you find? A sapphire ring. On the corpse of Julia about Ryan. an ounce what of crack. What are you talking about? Some grass. Your engagement ring. That was, those all got lost in transportation, though. Part of the proceeds. Of all the got lost in my trunk. That's an outrageous allegation. Ooh. Yes, it is. I suggest we go straight to Henry Arnett's place and sort this mess out. Ooh, let's go see. Ooh, all of us. Dennis, I can't get over. How in the world could you think of? Pulling a trick like that. Well, I, don't I guess I need to put that as my location. Uh, of course. Alright, that's weird. It wouldn't do it on its own. Oh, oh. God. 
Ugh, fucking New York. Fucking New LA. We're missing something. Arnett is obviously arranging the burglaries. Yeah, That's for me, driving like a fucking maniac. And Randall and like was weaving in and out of cars. But neither of them are the type to she is awfully calm and just telling you're me, being like, ridiculous. I think Both you're being you. ridiculous there's, about there's a very good explanation accusing, for like, Arnett. What a shock in it, sister. You know, this, this is undeveloped. These houses will be worth literal millions one day. Just because they're, like, in the middle of L.A. Isn't that insane? You're paying for every last scratch. No. Just, just write a department expense report. We'll, we'll be fine. Does that change? Does that give us another location? No, so that's the only location we have left. All right, well, all right, everybody out of the way. Watch Move out Peter for the Griffin. pedestrians. You're not the fucking boss of me, dude, okay? If I want to have a beer or six at lunch, that's on me. That's fine. You should know better than to let a drunk dude drive your car. I feel like I should have a fear. A, a fear. It just became Australian all of a sudden, mate. Right? I feel like you should have a few beers while I play these games, just to like, I don't know, see how bad my driving <laughs> get. Oh, goodness. All right. So, the sun is in my eyes. What's this? Look where you're going. Perfect. Nailed it. I really think that there's not a lot of, uh, like, I really think there's not a lot of appreciation for, like, games where you drive around Look and, out! like, the car gets damaged as you drive. It's like, that takes work to make that shit look all scrunched up and, like, make it look bad. Just as much, if not more work, than it does to make it look like a nice car. Like, think about all the times you've, like, destroyed a car in uh, Grand Theft Auto. Like, think about that. Now think about how all those cars have different stages of damage. Just like the one I'm driving right now. And think about that. And how your tits just got blown clean up. Son of a bitch! As I'm driving around, Maybe running into each one of these cars. I still got one headlight, so it's not illegal. Yet. Dude, that lady is awfully chill for me, like, driving like a maniac. Even still. You just watched me hit, like, 17 different things. And she's like, is your car gonna be alright? And, like, Roy's like, no. Welcome, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, are you arrested? LAPD detectives, we're here to speak to Henry. Give me Arnett. Oh, uh, Ow. Mr. Fuck my Arnett, ankle. Um, uh, apartment 30. You can take the lift. Thank you. It's an elevator. Ding. We all get in, and then it's just like. Well, isn't like, this oh, nice oh, awkward? That's nasty. I like his, uh, his commentary. Well, isn't this just awkward? It's so weird to see, like, indoor apartments like that. Like, where everything's not just set up like a giant hotel. Freeze! Thought Patrol! Oh my Stop. god! Don't kill him, Cole! This guy's our case! Go on, Put get our hands up. in the air! And don't even think about waving him like you just don't care. All right, where, where are we going, buddy? All right. Don't make me chase you. Oh, oh. Oh, no. 
the fuck would put a board across? Like, what is this? A shanty town? Yeah. Oh, you fuck. Looks like he got you good, Phelps. Yeah, he really packs a wallop. How did I get back here? Under your own steam, miraculously. He came in through the window, said hello, and then keeled over. <laughs> that was our net. He's coming around, too. Oh, my God. He's all hopped up. That's the case. Time to get some answers. You missing something, Henry? investigate the apartment this is ah <laughs> oh. what is this a watch there it is it's an extremely expensive watch Henry a graduation present from my parents I find it really strange that we had a point in time where, you told Heather your like, that was a thing. Like, we were just buy somebody a really expensive watch as a gift. Like, why? Why? Why an expensive watch? That's such a strange, like, thing. Mm -mm. Ah. It doesn't appear to be connected. <laughs> He's fanning them. All right, what, do, what else do we got here? We got some mail. Uh, other crap. The sexy man in their apartment. Oh, that's me. Oh, ho, ho. Doesn't look like anything. Get a shirt here. Something else on the floor. Seems irrelevant. Just leave that, whatever the fuck that was. I don't really think there's much in here, to be honest with you. Ah, oh, yes, a shake weight. I don't think this is any use to us. There's some water malone. Uh, what looks to be toast. Bet there's a dead body in the freezer! All right. We know all about the jewelry ring. Oof. You and Randall. Let's and start to wrap this up. Doing the leg work. I'm in the fashion business. Uh, let's go ahead and accuse him of lying. You're lying, Henry. How can you prove that I'm involved, detective? Why, of course, the Fabergé cigarette case. Worth $10,000. Because you pawned a Fabergé cigarette case today for $600, a case that is on a list of stolen items. It was Julia's. Get a list of society parties, find out where and when, and then have the guests move. Julia was desperate for money. No matter how much we made, she always wanted more. Why did Reed and LeBlanc kill Julia Randall? I, I wanted to stop. To get out of that life. Ooh, we're almost done. We got this guy. She looks like she is like. That they were out. She was gonna create a, a new gang. If you look at his eyes when he was like going like this, his facial tracking is like weirdly off. And that is also a lie. You're lying, Arnett. I think you ordered them to kill her. It was made to look like suicide, and when the coroner saw through that, you knew it was time to run. I told you I was involved in the burglaries. I had nothing to do with Julia's death. Why would I need to run? You had a train ticket, did you not, buddy? Have you told Miss Swanson that you're leaving for Mexico City tomorrow night? That it's a one-way ticket? Henry? Ooh, busted. 
Busted. I wanted to marry Heather. I told Julia I wanted out, and she laughed in my face. I had to pay Willie and Jimmy a fortune to do her, and now I'm completely broke. What you are, Buster, is under arrest. Who is Henderson, and what is his involvement? He looks really fucking weird Tell without his hat on. Henry. I'll stand by you if you'll only tell the truth. There is no Henderson. Lies. Tell me about Why your must you turn your apartment into a house lies. of lies? I can't remember. I don't keep a list of these things. Well, we do. And it's called the contraband list. Your first buddy was a Dr. Harold Stoneman. You want to explain how he is involved or shall I? Henderson is Stoneman. He was crazy about Julia. She could get him to do whatever she wished. He threw the parties and we arranged the burglaries. Julia never let him touch her. She just kept him hanging on the promise. Drove the good doctor almost insane. Henry Arnett, you are under arrest. You're hella for under arrest, bro. The murder of Julia Randall. Henderson is Stoneman, all right? I'm not the guy you want. Go talk to the good doctor. Oh, we will, knucklehead. Meanwhile, we're fitting you for convict stripes. <laughs> ah, there we go. Busted. Ooh. I got him sleepy. All right. You drive. I just got whacked in the head. I need to go over the case notes. Where are we There's going? no case notes. I've just been doodling in this book the whole day. I guess the wedding's off. He only robbed her mother and killed her best friend. Cut the guy some slack. So how does the doctor yeah. get in? That's yeah, that's not a big deal. Find out. You can come Maybe back. Maybe we to should that. ask him to give you a quick once over. Like murdering your mother and best friend, or murder, murdering I've your had like, you best friend and robbing your the other guy. Like Y'all know what I'm trying to Next say. Time you I can't even fucking run. talk. I didn't box in the Marines though, did I? I should have never told you that. <laughs> oh God. I like Roy, but he's skeezy as fuck, dude. I'm going to just see how many copyright claims that I get on this video. Because there's a lot of iconic songs just being played in this. I might have to stop playing this because I've gotten so many. I've gotten one on one video and then three on the one from yesterday. Outstanding. Oh, oh Jesus. What did you eat? Like seven chili dogs? All right. Bam. Hang on a moment, sister. Tell him it's Henry Arnett and tell him it's urgent. I can't do that. Tell him or I'll charge you with obstruction of justice. Damn, Lex. Doctor, I'm afraid Mr. Arnett is here to see you and he says it's urgent. Send him in. I told you never to come. Tell us the truth, doctor. <laughs> oh, we got him. I'm so glad you came. We got him, boys. Prison will be better than insanity, and I'm already half insane with grief. Do you know that I loved her? I ruined my life for her, and yet I still love her. Will you testify in court that Arnett and Randall did these robberies? They organized the robberies. Julie would get the names of the guests attending my wife's parties. Hmm. Didn't matter how much money I showered upon her, it was never enough. What a scumbag. She never really cared for me. Doctor, I'm afraid you're under arrest. Doctor, crime does not pay. Oh, fuck. Sorry, I accidentally hit the wrong button. Oh, the practice. You'll call Dr. Gerard. No, 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 please don't cry. I want to see no one. Stop crying, I'm you're all arrest you too. Children, nor my friends, and I don't want a lawyer. Just 
Oh. Up and throw away the key. He's gonna. Oh, wow! Thought he was gonna jump out the window. What have I done? Oh. Oh, fuck. Didn't see that coming. A really funny prank would be the scream, don't push me! And then jump Operator, out. Give me R it's like a last fuck you. <laughs> Putting you through now. Oh my god. I need an ambulance in the corner immediately to the offices of Dr. Harold Stoneman, 1646 Iver Street, Hollywood. En route, detective. You have a message. Detective Bukowski says the suspect is named Wilson Willie the Wolverine, hmm. former wrestler. Willie the Wolverine. The okay, buddy, come on. Hollywood and Vine. Detective Bukowski says to meet them there. On our way. We have an address for the runner. Sorry, he's hella dead. Let's try and wrap Bye. This up, then. Ding. Cole, you better not fart in this that elevator. Boy really fell for that broad. Or what? She was incredibly beautiful. Would you throw it all away for a woman? Hell no. Life has a way of making you pay for your pride. You're quite the romantic, Phelps. Stick with the percentages. Broken hearts are for chumps. You're talking from experience. I certainly am. Well, I like women as much as the next guy. I don't know, that's what somebody covering it up, or covering up being gay would say. I'm just saying. You're behind the wheel. Alright, let's go to Willie's apartment. I have damaged more than my fair share of things. Like, holy hell. The Broadway Hotel. It's the hotel that they all go to. He's around here somewhere. On a Broadway. Big guy. Neighbors say he always wears basketball shoes and a cream jacket. And get this. The kids around here say he plays the harmonica. Find the game well and have the commander set up a dragnet. We want the area closed off. We'll take this out of the street. Ooh, set up a dragnet. Hmm. A harmonica playing wrestler. That's a weird one. Thinking knits as well. Just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. You don't want him to bolt on us. It's getting closer. That's some, uh. Aha! Uh -huh. There he is! Wilson Reed! I am gonna jerk him off, off all the way to jail. Oh, he's gonna do a. He, he done a runner. Oh fuck! This is pretty nice. We get this all wrapped up nice and neat. Oh oh! I'm gonna jump. Yeah. All right, he ain't gonna get away. I'm a super cop, I'm like RoboCop before robos were a thing. Oh, look at that. Cap Captain Saltine. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. We can't get... We can't get distracted again. Not like I got distracted by that 5% sale. No way, no how, no hell. Where's he at? Where's he at? Aha. It's pretty crazy. Buildings just exist like that. And like the roof of one is like so much higher than the other. I don't know. It's weird to fucking think about. I think about a lot of weird things though. Hold it. He's got to be around here somewhere. No place to go unless he grew wings. Dude, I left you behind. Whoa! I just expected to take him out, or or what? What do I do?
Shot him right in the dick. Son of a bitch really picked a spot for it up here, didn't he? Julia Randall's folks are flying in from New York tomorrow to claim the body. I saw her on the slab. That body is hella so dead. Perfect. Looked like she was made of porcelain. She really made an impression on me. Julia had that impact on a lot of men. Christ, it's cold. God damn. You guys did good work here today. Roy. It's LA. They don't get I think cold. you should buy your brother officers a drink. Do you now? That's very generous of you. Lieutenant. Damn. Everybody be salty. Yeah, we did it, guys. We damaged the shit out of that vehicle, too. And the city. We fucked the city up real good. Still got five stars, though. Oh, my God. That was... <clears throat> oh, can't do it. That was The Naked City. All right, we're going to quit. I'm going to put that and smooth jams back on, put it on my face. Yes, I will quit. Oh, holy hell. Hi, Ashlyn. What are you doing? I didn't expect to see you here. You like my detective shirt? Are we going to exit? I'm going to do the... There we go. You showed up just at the end when I was shutting everything down. But anyway, guys, thank you all for coming. I do appreciate struggling with your phone settings. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. But I do want to thank everybody who came by to just hang out. You have? It's like my thing here says like it's like a little different. I got like a stat thing. It's just like all sorts of crazy. Oh, weird. I don't know. I'm not sure, like, because you have an iPhone, right? I'm not sure how, like, it works as far as, like, on iPhone. But, like, I know YouTube's been having trouble lately, like, with viewers. But anyway. So, I do want to thank everybody who came by and just watched my nonsense with all my detective BS. A lot of fun. Uh... We did a lot today. We uncovered like a, a fucking ring of drug smugglers who were putting like marijuanas in cans. Ah, so cool. We brought down a morphine ring. And on top of that, we put like a couple of guys away who were like running a burglar operation. Oh, it's super fun. It's supposed to be like one of those old detective games from the 40s. But anyway, I am going to sign off. It is 21 minutes past our time. I am going to go eat dinner. Peace, guys. Thank you.